Spark, so welcome back to Star is the path of destiny. Yeah, Star is the path almost, of destiny. I almost forgot it. I almost forgot it. I noticed. So, uh, last episode, we've started over again. We thought we'd finished it, but we hadn't. So, we've gone on to a new choice. We went and rescued Lupino. So next up, we can either pay a call on Zenobia, or we can get the core of the Sky Ripper. But little Spark, what are we going to do? Pay a call on Zenobia. Pay a call on Zenobia. Okay, go on then. Ha! Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. Ooh. She'd been Renato's best friend in sword food school. Sword food And cool. you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. Hmm. She knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the master's spy. Funny that. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right. Said Lapino. Mm -hmm. Taking her would change the game, all right. The city was already Ooh, under Zenobia's control. Oh, good. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? Yeah, why not? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Ooh, got some cubes. Some essence, wind and water. Mm, I saw a crafting table somewhere around here. Mm, don't think it's that way. I think we need to work our way around. What's on that platform there? There's a lever. There's a lever. Oh, it's a lift. It's a lift. This is awesome. I love this lift. <laughs> What's that thing glowing? Ooh, dead ravens and dead bunny rabbit. They've all killed each other in battle. Must have done. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. Is it just a light? <laughs> some way to break the ice with this wall. So to speak. Oh, that was close. Uh oh, uh oh, there's a saucer around there. Oh no, is it you and your sword? Yes! I'll let you have to. Oh, look out, look out! Oh, yeah, well, guys. He could have gone around behind him, but you know. We got him! Yeah, what's around the other side? Alright, fine. We will find out. Nearly dead. Chest. You do run on ahead and miss all these things. Hmm. Oh. Get all the ingredients for a pretty nifty sword. Cool, we've got an ingre all the ingredients for a new sword. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. Gotta be quiet so they don't see us. Doesn't make sense. Uh, no, no, no. Ready, ready. Go, go, get him. Yeah. I thought you hadn't got him then. <laughs> Why? Because he's still there, doing stuff. Wrong way. Got it. Yeah. I don't know. <gasps> quick, quick, you could get him both. Oh, yes, nicely done. Have a good look around, see if there's Instant. anything there. We need health. No, nothing there to break. Get some of that squid, it looks yummy. Can't get any. Oh, that's a shame. Who's that down there? Oh, someone down there, look. Probably Lupino. Oh, Zenobia. Ah, there's a crafting. So, what's this oh, it plan Lupino, of yours? Yeah. Use me as bait, said Lupino. He's got big ears. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lupino dressing as an old blind toad. And Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. Sounds what interesting. Could possibly go wrong, thought Renardo. <laughs> um, I don't think it. Oh, well, it's up to you. Go for Lupino's geese net fire toad watermelon plan, or not the time for harebrained schemes. You want to go for his oh, plan? This is going to be fun. Oh, good lord! Said Lupino as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. Oh, this could be interesting. This could be interesting. Let's see what we can do at the workbench because hey. we've got a gem. Hey, a workbench. He could so. try out his new bling. Shield breaker. 
he hits Cause Shield drunk. Oh, that's brilliant. Cause Shield grunts to drop their shield. So you can just hit him and they'll drop it now. And there's another sword to make. Which one can we make? Oh, uh, we can't make that one yet. Can't make that one yet, but we can upgrade that one. So X to upgrade it. Sword at maximum level. Now we're going to have to collect loads of stuff before we make the next ones, though. Okay, it still looks pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Is it sword at maximum level? Yes, that's at maximum level. It says sword at maximum level. So that's it. That's all we can do for now. These two are at maximum Both at maximum level, and yeah. we haven't got the other two yet. Because we haven't made them yet. Because we haven't got enough stuff yet now, because you've just used it all. Right, go get those jazz. We might have some health in place. Bob. Whatever. Oh, so they didn't want their things broken. They really ought to make them stronger. Exactly. Yes, health. Give us the health. The sweet, sweet health. I think I think you went that way. Is that oh we don't have any points to spend though, do we? There's gotta be some around here. Yep, knew it. Look out! Oh well done. And that one, and that one. Oh, there's more, there's more. Slice, slice, right, let's see slice, if that gem slice, works. Slice, slice. Yeah, he dropped it, look. That's going to make it a Maybe lot easier. Maybe because he's afraid that I'm going to kill him. Yeah, well, you are anyway, so I won't work. Got him. See, that was easy. Got me. Oh, well done. And that one, that one. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect victory. There he is. Smash them up first. Renato felt oh, dubious not. about the whole plan. <laughs> I tried to. With I every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Pino's idiotic plan worked. <laughs> Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Ooh. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my mm. velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. <laughs> oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two. Yeah, said Latino. <laughs> but the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. Ooh. She'd vanished from Sorcerer School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Oh, dear. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? <gasps> she said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped with what? horror. Renata saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, she should head for the Imperial outpost. Yeah, the Pino. You have to catch her. What'd you do that for? Ooh, this place looks cool. Yeah, your barrel. I bet it's the right laugh. I bet Cats it's a barrel of laughs. But foxes can run longer. No. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. Ooh, going on one of those silly lifts again. Good thing Renato didn't have vertigo. Make me all grow. <laughs> make you all glowy. It make me all grow. Okay. What's that? Gems, gems, oh, that's gems, or there's, or in there's gems. Yeah, you really didn't do very well in that one, did you? How, how, how bad? Your aim is terrible. I don't care. <laughs> Ooh, left or right, left or right. Okay, we'll go left. Oh, are we going around in circles? I see. His mother had never let him wave his sword around at home. What's the best? I guess he was still compensating for that. Oh, we'll, we'll find out. Whichever. What's up where? The other way. I wonder if there's a chest up those steps. Ooh, what's the beer? What's the beer? What's the beer? What's the beer? Oh, there's something. But see there. Oh, and another one. You try it. You're hooked. And another one. And another one. More steps. Maybe this is a long way. <laughs> Never mind, we're up here now, aren't we? Oh, good, we can use that one. And um, probably there will be a battle. Yep, I would have thought so. 
Yeah. Oh, get the sorcerer, dude. Get the sorcerer. Get the sorcerer. He's over there. He's over there. That's Pow. nicely dodged. He's behind you. He's behind you. Quick, get him. No. Oh, Pow. Man, man. Yes. Sorcerer down. Oh, he's got friends. Ooh, good counter. Good counter. Oh, and another one. And another. Yeah, look at that. Well done. Uh, how do we get off this rock? That way, that way, that way. There's a grabby thing in the bush, a hook, a chain of thing. Over there, look. We have to get a bit closer, I think. Okay, you could always do that. Without exploring at all, that's fine. He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. We he tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What they do to her. Maybe it didn't have to end that an way. Interrogator. Maybe he could talk to her. Ask a question. But after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Yeah, I have full energy. Yeah, but you don't have full health. Oh, you will in a minute, I suppose, if you do that. One more. Yeah, there we go. Full now health. I have full health. Oh, I have some thingies to break. Nada had been the terror of the sandcastles when he was too. Ooh. Oh, we can't make another of those. Awesome. No, we can't. We can't. It would have a little exclamation mark on it if we could. We need loads still. And no more gems either. That's a shame. I have to go that way. There's a chest. Can we hook across to it? No. That's a shame because that looks like a cool chest. Go on up you go. Ooh. Ooh. And a battle. Ooh, what are you? This is new. Watch out for explosive ravens. When hit or thrown, they will explode after a few seconds. Use them to your advantage. Okay then. So if you hit them, you're gonna have to dash away from it. You got it? Maybe if you hook. Run away, run away! That's it. Wow. Oh, I, I think it gives you time to actually just walk away rather than. Nice! Go behind him. He's, he's behind you, he's behind you. There he is. Yeah! Oh, you're doing awesome! <laughs> wait, wait. Yes! Oh, the next bloody one. That's it. Leave him to explode and we'll kick the rest of them into. That was perfect. That was a perfect fight. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Yep. Soon Keep after, their butts. Zenobia limped up the path. <laughs> and she realized he was already in front of her. She didn't even try to run. Oh, he left without saying goodbye. Again. Okay. He said, please. You're enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Ah, oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? Said Lapido as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far tail, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Now this is a new choice, we haven't seen this one before, so have a guess, leave us in the comments what you think we'll do next, whether we'll just go and talk to her ourselves, or whether we'll hand her over to the interrogators. Dun dun dun. So as ever, if you did enjoy this episode, please do tap that like button. And if you want to see more from Buffy and Sun, then don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, what the heck is that? Very large. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Seriously, dude. You just let me kill anything. Is it dropped a load of crap meat? Drop crap meat. Oh, watch out behind you. Oh, watch out behind me. It's the mouse. Oh, no.